this too close. Just a little bit. Alright, well, I got an unboxing for y'all again. I don't have my tripod, so I got it like sitting there somewhere on a, a ledge. <laughs> um, so hopefully that looks good. But I got another unboxing for y'all again. Guess what it is? It's a Jordan. <laughs> Alright, so I just got it in the mail today. I've been waiting for it. Bang, the knife. Spider knife. I've been waiting for it <coughs> for uh, a little while now. So it's in. I'm ready to unbox. So let's open it back way up. Ooh. Can't wait. Can't wait. It's a big old box. Too. Look at this thing. Alright. Alright. This stuff. Get that out the way. Put this to the side. Don't need that. But let's get this out the box. And look at that. Look at that. Alright guys, so I've been let's sit down for this. I've been everybody know I'm a Jordan 11 guy. We you can see the box is Jordan 11. Everybody I know that that knows me from the hood, where I'm from, from Philadelphia, they know I love the Jordan 11. That's my favorite oh son's blanket. My favorite uh Jordan. It's between the elevens. I want to say the 9s, the 10s, and the 14s. A little bit of all of those. But mostly the 11. That's my bread and butter shoe. That's the one I go to when I buy. Like, even when I'm wearing, just hanging around going to work, I'm wearing a Jordan 11. Or sometimes a 7. But most of, most of the time, when I'm purchasing Jordans, it's the 11. And, and this is the holy grail of 11. This is my favorite Jordan. Of all time, other than the uh, Columbia, out of the Jordans, I like the breads. Everybody loves the breads. I like the bread lows, and um, I've been waiting for this to come back, to come back out. Um, so let's see. The little box has the Looney Tunes, has the, some Jordan logo branding. Then you got the 23 with the 45 with the. It's the Monstars um, holding on to the 45 and making a 23. And this box right here has 45 on there. Here's the thing. I'm a size 12. Jordan 11. On oh, this bottom of this box doesn't have nothing. I've been waiting to open it up. All right. So I'm off the bat, I notice you see here. It has like the galaxy print looking underneath this box, which is cool. Definitely think this is dope. This is a high quality box. I definitely got to keep this box. I know we try to throw my boxes away or just stack them into my closet. I have a shitload of shoes in the closet. I was, I think last year I counted over 45 pairs. And that, for me, I think it's a lot. And right now I'm probably around like 20-ish. I've been selling the crap out of them. Haven't been wanting to keep them all because my closet is like yay, yay big. All right, this one doesn't have what it normally says, like Mike and something, Tinker made something. I forgot what it's called, but they don't have that this time around. Um, but it do shows the number 11 there. You see, still in that uh, purple color. We'll, we'll call it Concord, but it's purple to me, man. Don't need that. In the bag, it shows 45 up front. Bang. Shitload of paper, like always. Oh, man. Oh man. Oh man, this is way better in person. Oh, the pictures don't do it justice at all. The new cut of this? This new patent leather cut. Well, not new, it's actually the original. Man. Woo. Man, look at that. Look at that. I love this cut. I like this cut way more 
than the cuts that have been seen over the last like 15 plus years. This is what they need to bring out for every shoe that ever be released from now on. For the 11, bring this cut out. Let's the lows. The lows you can keep the, the normal way. See? Let y'all see. Uh, see the lows, get the cut. It's a little lower and a little streamlined. That looks good. This looks great. There it is. It's the toe box. There's the rope laces. This is actually how they call it the rope laces. It's like where actually when they shoot in the hoop, the netting. So this is that that type. Uh, I noticed they have peaks on this now. I know the fake ones had peaks. Um, back in the day, that's how you know that Jordan 11 was fake when it had peaks. And I guess yeah, it's going have a peak right here too. See that? It's like a little widow's peak or whatever you want to call that. Right there and also right here in the front. Uh, but I noticed this might be true leather. Only type you see white lining inside. See how there's that white lining inside? That's normally because it's true leather. And only true leather is uh, cut that way. You can't, I mean, you keep it that way because it's just true leather. See, when you have an 11, so like these lows right here, you don't have the true white. You have it painted or some type of cut there. And the true leather, it normally should be like that. Uh, man, Jordan Brand... You did an amazing job. Thank you. Thank you. I'm actually wearing one of y'all shirts. Love this company. Some, most of the time, I, I, I could really say I really like Jordan Brand when they're making their, their, their shoes and they bring out this good quality like this. This, this makes me happy. You know, I, I don't know because I'm just a little high maybe right now. Because I got the one of my Grells, my second favorite shoe of all time between this and the Columbia's. And you can see the breads, but... Mostly this in the Columbia is where it's at. I love this shoe. And I'm so happy they actually made a higher cut. This is where it's supposed to be like in the 90s. It was a mistake and they had this cut. This is what the shoe's supposed to be. I know people mad because they got the 45 on there. But I'm happy about that too because instead of it just being a little ironed on or heat compressed on, if you ever want to call it, the same sh crap is still ironed. It's actually stitched. You see that? The camera's not doing any justice, so I apologize. I'm actually shooting on my Samsung Galaxy S7, the front camera. And it's probably not doing no justice at all. But I really like this shoe, Jordan Brand. I appreciate you actually put the effort to make a shoe look as close as it could possibly be from back in the day. Appreciate it. And also what the cool thing about this is that they kept it intact what it should look like. Just that. That's the only eyeball I can say. They even have the Nike brand inside. Let me see if I can take that out. They even have that, which is a plus to me. Oh yeah, they definitely do. I don't know how you can, can see that in there. But bang, look at that. The Nike sign in the bottom of it. That is awesome. Man. It, drum brand Nike. Yuck. I did a great job. I appreciate it. Uh, fiber, carbon fiber right here, guys. In case I wanted to know, you have pods right here. The Concord color, if I wasn't mistaken, or purple, whatever you want to call it, that's there. You got the jump man in the bottom. Translucent blue sole. The blue sole is supposed to be the original, not the cream. People get it confused. The blue sole. Was the original back in the day, if I wasn't mistaken. If, you, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comment section below. I'll do my research. But if I wasn't mistaken, the blue sole was actually the originator of the sole. And it wasn't the cream uh, clear one. That wasn't the original. So, I'm happy they, they they making it look like it's back in the day, man. It's looking good. Last year, I was kind of upset when I didn't get the 72 and 10s. I still don't got them. But I'm kind of happy with this. I'd I rather have this than that or last year. Um, I know last year they had the actual leather right here. And this year they actually, you know, went back to the old style with the mesh type style with the you know re regular rope. I'm happy. I think it's the best pickup of the year. Period. I only picked up two, shoe two, two or three shoes this year. This has been the slowest pickup year I had in a long time over the last five years. 
but I'm happy with it. And I'm really happy with it. Definitely, this is the pickup that I was gladly to skip every other shoe this year. Every shoe this year. I'm so happy to have this one. It was a little expensive. It was $220 retail. If and even if it was a $250, I probably would have saved up another $30 just to pick up this shoe. And now that I have it, I don't regret not even one cent. All right, please, uh, please like, rate, subscribe. I'm sorry, I was mostly rambling and not talking about this shoe. I'm just so excited to have this shoe, guys. I'm really, really excited. You don't understand how excited I am to have this shoe. Uh, oh, this probably be my yeah, like that, like uh. <laughs> hype beast, I guess you would call me. Um, just excited, please, guys. Like, rate, subscribe. Share this video, it helps a shitload. Um, give me likes. Also, YouTube is doing this new thing now. When I bring out more contact, you can put like a notification, it will send y'all like a text or email, or it'll give you something that let you know that I posted up a video. Like I said, it helps a lot, guys. And if you like more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll try to do this. You know, I, everything I get or show on this YouTube, either I bought it or I or I ask someone to let me borrow it, or I bought, like I said, I bought it. Most of the stuff I bought, guys. So it's really hard, you know. I have kids, family, everything y'all have, and it's hard to bring out videos like this. So if you want more videos like this, please let me know in the comment section below, and I help, or I'll try to bring them out as fast as and as good as possible. Um, this is Super Tank. Like I said before, please like, rate, and subscribe. It helps a bunch. And I'm out. Peace.